Hello and welcome back to the lake. In my previous video of my gameplay of this game, I stopped here while Meredith was having or is about to have dinner with Robert to celebrate things. Okay, I advise you to watch the previous uh, video of my gameplay, alright? And um, eventually uh, they were talking about a few things and he was apologizing to her for being a cheapskate and bringing and inviting her to having some dinner at Mo's Diner instead of other uh, you know better restaurants and well that's okay because most diner is the only restaurant in Providence so it's alright I don't think she will be really bothered with that um, anyway I want to say that I don't usually stop in the middle of you know in an in-game day um, I don't stop my gameplay videos um, like that okay I try to finish the day and then I'll start a new day in the next video uh, but the thing with the previous gameplay video was uh, the fact that I wasn't able to keep going with the gameplay on that day because I had real life stuff to do and I was running out of time even though um, the morning time is uh, the most convenient part of my day to record these game videos, right? So anyway, let's talk and more things to come today, hopefully. And let's see how this is going to run today. Don't worry about it, Robert, I love it here. Astoria has a few nice restaurants, so let's tell him to not worry about it, okay? Don't worry about it, Robert. I love it here. Thanks, Meredith. You're such a kind person. Good evening, you two beautiful people. Ready to order? Ladies first. Hi, Maureen. A salad. It's hard to pass up a juicy T-bone steak. Pancakes. At dinner. <laughs> well... I'd go with the pancakes, but let's go with a juicy T-bone steak, why not? <laughs> it's hard to pass up a juicy T-bone steak. Excellent choice, Meredith. And what would you like to wash it down with? Hmm, I think I'll have a... I don't like it, I don't like it. Water and Coke. Maybe let's go with water. It's healthier. Water. Gotcha, Robert? The usual for me, Maureen. All right, Robert. T-bone steak and a beer. Doesn't get any more lumberjack than that. Be right back, folks. Ashley, get the steaks out! Maureen's the best. Did you hear about the open mic night she's organizing? <laughs> yeah, she only told me about it a dozen times. I wish I could go, especially since I heard that Jack's gonna do a thing. Jack? What's he gonna do? <laughs> Let's tell him this. Give a lecture about potatoes? Believe it or not, he's a very good ballet dancer. Jack, really? <laughs> Jack? Really? <laughs> no, he's into comedy. Would have loved to have heckled him. Oh well, this is a good week anyhow. It must be nice that the apartments are off your mind because you're sitting here with me. Oh no, let's tell him this instead. Must be nice that the apartments are off your mind for a while. Alrighty, here are your beverages, folks. I'm afraid the food might take a little longer, as a certain kitchen helper thought the freezer was a good place for storing steaks. Uh, I really should get one of those microwave ovens to defrost them. You seem a little stressed. Is it the upcoming open mic? Why should I be stressed about that? It's going to be lovely. And you better be there, Robert Harris. Maureen... I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I won't be able to make it. I did not just hear you say that, young man. Oh, by the way, Meredith, I need to steal him for two minutes. He needs to check on some wiring for me. Excuse me, Meredith. This is Maureen's jurisdiction. Have to obey the law. Mmm, that tasted so good. Oh, we didn't Thanks, get Maureen, to see them the eating. Fantastic blueberry pie. You're welcome. It's my way of making up for stealing you away from Meredith. Ooh, I swear. She can give quite the stink eye if she wants, can't you, hon? Oh boy. She just the finished. Would be boring <laughs> without her. Speaking of, are you gonna miss your daily delivery round? Um why me sing? It depends on who's the round who's on the round. I'm looking forward to going back to the big city. Yes, I probably will. Let's tell him this. It depends on who's on the round. 
Oh, anyone in particular you don't like? It's not right to gossip. <laughs> uh, Matt, it's the guy from the motel. Oh well, okay. But Matt Kearney is a piece of work. Ah uh, yes, that's sorry excuse for a human being. I've had fantasies of mistaking him for a tree. <laughs> oh well, small towns can't like everyone. Can't avoid them either. That's true. Have you always lived in a small town? Yeah, Providence Oaks is my second one. After my divorce, I had to move away from the first. Oh, Always divorced. Everyone reminded me of her. And how are you now? Have you gotten over it? But maybe I shouldn't bother you with the innermost feelings of a lumberjack. Wouldn't be a bother at all. Robert and Meredith, sorry to break up your conversation, but we're closing up early tonight. Got to set up some stuff for the open mic night, and I can't use any peeping eyes. Oh, okay, Maureen. No problem. Let me get the check for you, so I can leave you two to your lovely evening. Can you put it on my tab, Maureen? Anything for you, darling. I'm gonna be nice. Do you mind if I pay? Or at least for half of it? Meredith, after all your help, this is the least I can do. So, yes, I mind. Now let's get going before Maureen gets her broom out. Meredith, thanks again for your help. It's I raining what again. Would if you hadn't come here for your mail delivery vacation. You're welcome, Robert. I was happy to help you out. Oh, it was nothing. Glad it got sorted out just in time. I might actual, actually extend my stay here. I'm gonna choose this. You're welcome, Robert. I was happy to help you out. A little help goes a long way. Hope to see you around again. You too, Robert. Take care. Good luck and call me if you need help. But you're not leaving without a hug. <laughs> but you're not leaving without a hug. Oh. Alright. Okay, it's Sunday already. Looks like I'm gonna play through it in this video. Edit 87. I could never have predicted delivering mail for two weeks will be like this. I've met so many new people. Some of them are really nice. Some of them a little less so, but all of them interesting in their own way. My temporary mail job officially ends tomorrow, really. Regardless of the actual experience, a change of scenery always has its upsides. That probably also holds true for tonight's open mic at Moe's Diner. <laughs> anyway, I love this town, you know I do. So. I'm dedicating my last jokes to specific people here tonight. The first one's for Maureen. A guy walks into a bar, and dozens of slabs of meat are hanging from the ceiling. So he asks the bartender, what's up with the hanging meat up there, man? So the bartender says, ah, oh, you're new here. Well, we like to play a game here. If you can jump up and slap a steak, the house will pay for your drinks all night. However, if you miss, you have to pay everyone else's bar tab. So, wanna give it a go? Nah, says the man. <laughs> Those stakes are too high. Okay. This one's for our own newcomer, Meredith Weiss. So, a woman's driving down the freeway, but all of a sudden, she hears a local news bulletin warning drivers on the very freeway she's on. They're saying, please be advised of this very dangerous situation of a car going the wrong way. So the woman says to herself, what car? <laughs> Why, there's dozens. <laughs> All right. Well, folks, wasn't that special? Now, let me know if any of you have any jokes about Jack, you hear? It's an open mic, after all. <laughs> it's actually time for a little break right now. So, come on up to the bar for some of our finest concessions. We'll continue shortly. Mildred, how are you? And how are the cats? Fine, on both counts, dear. Thank you for asking. So, do you like the hair? 
Well, I think it looks pretty much the same since last time I've seen her. But <laughs> I'm not gonna tell her that. I'm gonna be nice, okay? <laughs> Love it. That hairdresser did a great job. It's not bad actually, it just Hitty looks the same the as before. And money, seeing as how I can't stay for long. Really? What's the rush? You see, my son decided to drop by, unannounced, and he's staying the whole weekend. Oh, that's wonderful news. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, anyway, take care, dear. Now, where did he park the car? Yes, it's me, Matt Kearney, in an egg brace. Real funny, huh? <laughs> I must admit, it, it's at least a little funny. What happened? Well, I was about to send the final boss to the afterlife, but then the computer crashed. <laughs> I kicked my foot out in anger and fell from my chair, and now I'm here looking like a loser. <laughs> Aren't you? I'm sure you'll beat the game one day. Don't give up on the dream. I can't play like this. But I'm going to work out a strategy in the meantime. Dear people, none other than our own Kay Evans will perform next. She's gonna sing. She has been writing songs since she was a little girl. And I cannot say how thrilled I am to host her first performance of hopefully many to come. I am so proud of you, honey. Please put your hands together for Kay, everyone. Okay, here goes nothing. And on, and on, and on, and on. I pulled up to a crossroad. I could drive on or go left, go right Suddenly these choices make me smile What if I just enjoy the ride? Life's a game of chance For every break you get You leave another one behind Just as long as you keep trying You will get there This does not happen a lot, but you have left me speechless. That was K, people. Another round of applause. Well, it's a good thing I didn't leave when Reynolds started his nonsense. This kid can sing. Oh, hi, Mr. Mackey. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, it's good to see someone flourish. But I'd rather be home right now. Isn't it fun to step out every once in a while? Smoking a pipe and reading a proper book is the only acceptable way to spend a Sunday evening in September. Bert, thank you so much for coming. I know you'd rather be somewhere else right now. That's okay, kid. I don't regret it one bit. You did great. But ladies, if you'll excuse me, I'm out of here. Good night, Bert. Thanks again. And now for an announcement. I'm serious, so hush now. Now, you all know that Kay has been working here at the diner for quite a while now. In fact, she was my anchor after Stan left us. And I think the time has come to formally announce right here that I will put your name above the door of this place, honey, where it belongs. That's great. Kay's place. Mo Kay's. We haven't settled on a name yet, but there you go. Another round of applause. And have some drinks with us. Kay's place, huh? Congratulations! That was quite a surprise. Yeah, I told you. Mo asked me, like, 
a gazillion times, right? Kind of felt right this time. We haven't hashed out any details, as you might have noticed. <laughs> but it feels good, you know? That was amazing. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Em. It felt amazing. I was so super nervous, you know? Like, shaking and all that. I'm so glad it went well. I have to hand it to you. You were great. I have to go in a bit, but let me know when the next gig is, yeah? You're not leaving already, are you? The fun's just starting. Oh, wait, of course. Big day tomorrow, right? You know what you're going to do? Honestly? Well... Wait, I'm not good at this stuff, so... I just want to say... It was good to have you back these past weeks, Em. Really good. You just do what you feel you have to do. I'm just glad we reconnected. Promise you'll keep in touch? Whatever the outcome, yeah? Of course! And remember... Time... Marches, marches on! on. <laughs> See you, Kay. Thanks. For everything. My lovely people, the time has come for the open mic part of the evening to end. Ashley was going to do a ventriloquist bit next, but I just heard he hurt his hand back in his cabin. Let me thank you again for joining us, and there's plenty of food and drink to go around. All right, everyone's having a good time now. I sure do hope they're keeping things proper in there while I'm taking a breather. So, you had fun? Oh, it was great. Kay was amazing. You said it. Oh, that girl is so talented. Oh, I'd give my big toe to be able to do what she does behind a keyboard. Oh, sheesh. I'm still thinking about your news about handing over the diner. Kay's place, huh? That was quite the bombshell. That's my style. I've mentioned it to Kay, yes, many times since Stan died. She probably thought I was joking half the time, honestly. I just want to give her the option. It's hers whenever she wants it. And if she doesn't, that's fine too. Seems like a bold choice to announce it to the town like that, though. Ha! You know me, hon. At least all the options are out in the open now, right? So what's next for you, now that you're handing over the reins? Well, to be honest, I'll probably stick around the diner for now, help out. And maybe I'll try my hand at something different on the side, you know? Maybe fix up some of those cabins in the woods. Rent them out. Never too old to find something new to do. That's a good idea, yes. Great idea, yeah. That sounds like a great idea. Doesn't it just? How did things end up with Kay? You could tell me to mind my own, of course. It's just that that girl is like a daughter to me. We talked, yeah. I think a lot has happened since those days we used to spend out in the watchtower. I'll always cherish that time, but I think that's it for me and Kay. I hope you're not too disappointed because, you know, you can be a scary woman. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> you're two grown women and if that's the choice you two ended up on, I can only respect that. Speaking of choices, you've got a big day in the morning, don't you? Know what you're gonna do yet? Stick around? Move back? I'm not really sure actually, so... Honestly, no. No clue at all. Sounds like you're feeling a lot of pressure. No, I just wish things were a bit more clear. <sighs> you know what I've found? Screw clarity. You don't need clarity to make choices. How so? I swear. People these days seem to think that because they can calculate and approximate, they can clear up the secret to existence. 
Like, life's a game you can win or lose. Pretending you know exactly where future you wants to end up. And plotting that out for the rest of your life? <sighs> I'd almost say that's arrogant. Not to mention boring. The beauty is in not knowing, if you ask me. <laughs> Let's tell her this instead. That's uncharacteristically deep. Sue me. Want to know my advice? You take that one first step and see where it leads you. You can never truly predict the one that comes after, and whatever path you take will come with its ups and downs. There will always be joy, and there will always be regret. But that's something to be thankful for. That's what makes life yours, doesn't it? It makes sense, yes. Thanks, Maureen. It makes sense. You'll be all right, huh? You just keep checking what feels right. And if not, just take that first step, you hear? Maureen? Thanks for everything. I best get back inside. You take care now, Meredith Wise. Take care, Maureen. Plenty of dialogue today. <laughs> And it's Monday. I think I'm gonna play a little more. Good morning, Meredith. You won't believe the weekend I had. Saturday I placed a bet on the Angels and won. But they played again yesterday and I let it ride and then they lost. They're playing again tonight and now I don't know what to do anymore. Well, Frank, the pattern is obvious. Your gambling did beyond salvation so the Angels will win this time and betting against the pattern pays off white socks. <laughs> you're a gambling addict beyond salvation. Haha, <laughs> Meredith. I guess you're right, and I guess I don't mind. Speaking of gambling, I bet you're taking the job, and that's not just because you're wearing your coat. I love the coat, Frank. Okay, I have a big decision to do now. To choose to keep working in this place or just leave to probably the big city, yes. Uh, no, I'm taking it off and we leave town. I like this town, so I think I'm gonna stay, okay? I don't mind with this job, actually. And yes, I want to wear it a bit longer. And yes, yeah, I want to wear it a bit longer. That's possible. Fantastic. So you'll be delivering the mail today? I'll sure. give HR a call and tell them the vacancy is filled. Uh, not so fast, Frank. It's under one condition. What is it? If you get a predicament again, you're on your own. I want it on the action, a fair share of your bookie profits. No, I'm gonna tell him this. If you get in a predicament with Walter Morgan again, you're on your own. Ha, <laughs> you got it. I'll have Morgan for breakfast. <laughs> now, let's get to work. The mail doesn't deliver itself. Of course not. Right, let's go for delivery day. Okay, let's see what today's weather will be like. P.O. people, good morning. Today's weather will be nothing what? short of gorgeous. This is weird. To go outside and All right, there she the goes. Acres. But not before sharing, you know what? P.O. positive or pet peeves? I don't need callers for today's P.O. positive. I'm picking it myself. <laughs> I'm talking about Moe's open mic last night. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I did. And I'm sorry if I offended anyone with my jokes. Well, no, actually, I am not sorry. Not sorry at all. Thank you much, Mo and Kay, for hosting it. It's just one of the things that makes Providence Oaks the best place in the world. Have a great day. Uh, <laughs> you tell him, Jack. What's this guy up to? Wait, is that Robert? Yeah, yeah, Robert, I'll pull over. Oh, it's him. Hey, Meredith, sorry about that. I hope it didn't scare you. What does he want from Meredith now? Hey, Robert, what's going on? Well, this is going to sound super awkward and hopeless and desperate and probably a lot more things, but I don't want you to leave. I've decided a while ago that I'm done with stuff like this, but I guess it's not something you can decide. <laughs> what? Stuff like this? 
Stuff like this? Yeah, you know. I'm a man, you're a woman. I like you. Oh. <laughs> a lot. I knew it. I knew it. I didn't want to give in to it. <laughs> I've been through a rough breakup once. And I didn't want to risk ever feeling like that again. Okay. Hmm. Get in his car. Like, what? But I'm gonna tell him this. I don't wanna sound like kind of rude. So, what do you propose? That I just get in your car right now? Uh, I wasn't gonna propose, but yeah, Meredith, I'd love that. Dude, I have the van here. I need to deliver mail. <laughs> Let's take a risk, who knows? Oh well. Okay. Oh, holy cow! Oh, wait! <laughs> Going too fast, hang on. Get in the car. Hug Robert, kiss Robert. Well, since I have some work to do today, I don't think I'm gonna choose to get in the car like... What? Kiss? <laughs> That's... Bit too much. Let's hug him because they did it before, right? They they hug each other at most diner. Anyway. Oh. Coffee she still mouth. got in the car. And a piece of pie. Yeah, let's eat that blueberry pie. <laughs> Sorry for button in, folks. But I've got a special treat for y'all. It's gonna deliver I the rest of the mail. I updated my playlist. This new song is from our very own K. Evans. Oh, we're gonna listen to her again. And what else? Hang on, this is the end already. <laughs> Alright, so looks like we're gonna stay here. <laughs> I was actually expecting for a little more um, game into this, um, but I think it's not bad ending here. Actually, she decided that she, it will. I actually decided for her that it will be better to stay here in Providence Hoax. It's such a nice little town with a wonderful lake. And, well, as expected, yes, I kind of thought that Robert was into her for a while, but I, I mean, why not starting a new life in here and see how it goes? Uh, so I don't think we're gonna ever know what's gonna happen next, but I think we can kind of think about it, okay? If all runs well, she's gonna keep uh, this job that uh, she seemed to enjoy a little bit. Um, because of my choices and I wonder kind of been wondering if this is kind of like games like Life is Strange where your decisions will um, you know decide the feature of um, the ending of your game you know uh, so kind of like that I wonder if I have chosen the other things and yeah wh what will happen if she left the town to the city and such if she will be happier or, or not. I think I did good choices in the end. It's a nice little story, I guess. I'm gonna leave you here with the rest of the credits and listening to Kay singing. <laughs> yes, so let me know your opinion about this game and uh, about my gameplay choices, even that. Um, down below in the comments and thank you so much for the very few of you that eventually watch this, have a great day. Goodbye.
So what do you propose? That I just get in your car right now? Uh, I wasn't gonna propose, but yeah, Meredith, I'd love that. I can't do that, Robert. Not right now. You know what? I'll call you. Okay, Meredith, I understand. And yeah, calling sounds good. Have a great day. Thanks, Robert. I want you to meet me, say, at five today. What? Like a date? <laughs> well, more like a business proposal. You in? All right. I'm in. So, here we are. Now what? Well, we could have a cup of tea at my place. I would like that. I think we know what that creepy Frank Booth character would be thinking right about now. So, what are you going to do with it? You have to hit the road. I don't know what I want yet. I was hoping it could stay here for a while. You can tinker on it, too. You know I'd love tinkering, but it's going to need a lot of work. It can stay here for as long as you need. Wow, good for you. I'd love a free RV. You know, come to think of it, you might have more of a use for it than I do. I... I'd love an RV. I mean, that'd be perfect. But... I, I don't know if I can accept it. I mean, June and Mickey must have entrusted you with it for a reason. Are you sure you don't want to keep it? Nah, I'm good. It's all yours. Wow, I don't know what to say. <laughs> and that's a first for me. Speaking of gambling, I bet you're taking the job. And that's not just because you're wearing your coat. I love the coat, Frank. But no, I'm taking it off. I'm leaving Providence Oaks again. Oh, that's not what I was hoping to hear, Meredith. But I understand. What are you going to do? Well, actually, I'm... Uh... A van? So you're staying in the delivery business? No, wait. That's an RV. Yep. I'm getting on it, and I'm not sure where I'll stop. So... I guess this is goodbye. Goodbye, Frank. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you too, Meredith. Goodbye. And the V-Belt is not in great shape, but it should last you another month or three. The Hermit Shell in all of her glory. Do you like her? Meredith and I named her. She's pretty amazing, Lori. Cute name, too. Thanks for doing this for me. You're very welcome. Have fun on the road, Miss W. Thank you, Lori. Will you be back? <sighs> Unlikely. The small town life isn't for me. Okay. Well, if you ever find yourself here again, come and say hi. Sure thing. I'd like that. See you around, Lori. Magnificent, isn't she? Yeah. She certainly knows a lot about cars for a kid her age. I meant the RV. But sure, Lori's great too. So, you all packed? Sure am. The big stuff's in storage. But I've got the bare necessities. Clothes, toiletries, and a whole bunch of videotapes. So, where are we going first? <laughs> yeah, about that. Hmm? I have one condition. I get to pick which movie we watch first. <laughs> Deal. I'm in the driver's seat, by the way. I've heard about your driving. What? What have you heard? From who? People talk. When advertising exec David Howard, parentheses Albert Brooks, is passed over for a promotion and subsequently fired, he decides to change his whole life. He convinces his wife Linda, parentheses Monica Johnson, to sell their house and roam the country easy rider style, 
in a Winnebago. Okay, forget this one. That's just not going to be relatable at all. <laughs> nope. We've got nothing in common with those guys. I have another flick where a bunch of academics set up a ghost hunting business in an old fire station. That should be way more accessible. Angie Eastman, have you seen every single tape in here? Not all of them, but most. Come on! But I don't mind watching them again. In fact, I'd love to see them with someone who... Knows nothing about movies? I was going to put it a little nicer than that. Someone who has unspoilt virgin eyes. Virgin eyes? What, are you a poet now? <laughs> All right, well, Lost in America will unspool before these virgin eyes soon enough. Tell me about Stand By Me. It's about four kids from Oregon, right? Speaking of gambling, I bet you're taking the job. And that's not just because you're wearing your coat. I love the coat, Frank. But no, I'm taking it off. I'm leaving Providence Oaks again. Ah, oh, that's not what I was hoping to hear, Meredith. But I understand. What are you gonna do? Back to my home, my job, and my life in the big city. So I guess you're going back to the future, eh? Computers, living in the fast lane. Can't say that I envy you. Although it must be nice to live close to a major ballpark. Do you need a ride to the airport? Yes, please. I'd love to take one last look over the lake. All right, go grab your stuff and let's go. So, if you're leaving, what's going to happen to the hermit shell? I don't know. Do you have any ideas? You could leave it in storage here, or put it up for sale. Give it to someone else who will use it. Are you hinting at something, Lori? Well, you can store it at our place if you want. We have enough space. Or I might use it to hide from my parents every once in a while. You know what? You can have it. What? Really? Oh, wow! That's so rad. Yeah, imagine that. Have fun with it, Lori. You'll get much more use out of it than I ever could, probably. All right, this is going to be fun. Have fun on the road, Miss W. Thank you, Lori. Will you be back? Probably. I made some friends here. I'll want to see them again. Okay, well, if you ever find yourself here again, come and say hi. I'll show you how the hermit shell is doing. Sure thing. I'd like that. See you around, Lori. Wagons West! Let's see what today's weather will be like. P.O. people, good morning! Today's weather will be nothing short of gorgeous. And I can't wait to go outside and head out to the acres. But not before sharing, you know what? P.O. Positive or Pet Peeves? I don't need callers for today's P.O. Positive. I'm picking it myself. <laughs> and I'm choosing our very own mail carrier, Meredith Weiss, who's leaving P.O. She's only been here for two weeks, and we're already going to have to miss her. She's going back to her life in the big city. I'm not sure you'll hear this, Meredith, but on behalf of all the people in P.O., well, almost all. Thank you so much, and all the best. Ah, oh, good old Jack. Hey, Lori. Fancy meeting you here. Oh, hi, Miss W. What are you playing there? Oh, this is just some arcade. Do you want to play? Sure. Yeah, 
You're getting the hang of it. Well, now I know where to go when I'm bored. Thanks for letting me play, Lori. You're welcome. Wanna try again? Tower, Ugh, my old stomping ground. But can't you make an exception for poor little Mortimer? Well, it's my first week, so no, I can't. I... I understand. I'll find someone else. Bye, Miss Jenkins. Bye, Meryl. If you want a nice view, take a picture. Not when a grumpy man is blocking it. They say you can file an official objection, but I'm not a great match with bureaucracy. I'd rather get the chainsaw and cut down Town Hall. Nothing a chainsaw can't handle. <laughs> Just kidding. It's a nice thought, though. Well... Good luck with that. Thanks. I'll see if I can come up with something. Hi there. Sorry, pardon? Hi there. Oh, hello. I wasn't expecting a metal detector here. Uh, I, I'm not a metal detector, actually. Oh, of course, you're a detectorist. Well, nice meeting you. It was nice to meet you, too. Good luck. How's the photography coming along? My photography quest has been completed. Here's your equipment pack. Okay then. Let me see if I can manage to develop them. Come back tomorrow for the results. Thank you. See you tomorrow. I managed to get the machine to work. Here are the pictures. Thank you. I'm happy with how they turned out. Apparently, they're running a photography competition to promote the new photo labs. If you're interested in entering, you can pick out one of your pictures. Oh, that sounds like fun. I'd like to participate. Well, just pick one and submit it. But I wouldn't get my hopes up if I were you.
Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Put it in this envelope and write your name and address on the back. I'm awkwardly trying to ask if maybe you could do me a huge favor and watch Grace and Max tonight? Hey, it's fine. Don't worry. I'll babysit tonight. Oh my god, you serious? That would help me out in such a big way! And I would owe you big time. Cheers. Someone's in a good mood today. Yes, thanks for looking after Max and Gracie last night. He were a real trooper for stepping in last minute. Are they okay? Did they mention anything? Max did say I owe him pancake breakfast for the rest of the week, and Grace said she will never sleep again, but yeah, pretty much. What movie did you watch with them anyway? <laughs> so... Good afternoon, Miss Weiss. Yikes, you creep! Uh, you keep giving me jump scares! What? What? Don't try to be a wise guy. Or a wise gal, Miss Weiss. I can't help being a wise gal. Very funny. That's also what your dad used to say.